Sebu, what when we're out of the Nizu, what you know and got his less. The Nizu Adoa, though, has the Nega, and go about the rest of the Kiri Hunyani than a name without no Sua. No way I would ask for a exit in a hotel, I have got Christian, they would have had the Nizu Goha Hodas, 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 the in a hotel, Kitty Hanyani, Ezo and Down, Diagon in the New Go, they were generous nearly one who had zero that name. Tinigundi, one who had scissors than a Tinny Hardy, one who was down from there, as it in a hotel, then go to the Hatsa Gans Rival Squad. Yat no wonder times of what the word of Zinu and Yaka Sana on a Yahagwaha, Yatin and Tadwe. Tinu and Tuguraba. They were generous and Chimu Sijaki, Nexi and Down, the Jaguata, the Nazaha, I got. Question T. I inquired that. Question Anna, see what I got the Ezo, what I go away that time. Ezra and a question in Kirinani of Ne of Neavane, I pretty well going yesterday. A quite good name was so on. Are they what when we're out of the Zuajin Uagana was over and he worried again? When I'm unable to express myself verbally, I write. When I become the overdramatic teenager that I sometimes can be, I write. I honestly don't know what my life would be like without writing. When I got to grade 7, I was put in Chrissy's language arts class, where I finally got to expand on my writing, and all I can say is thank you for helping me expand my creative horizons. When I finally got into senior school, I got the loudest, sometimes obnoxious, strange, positive, always singing Barry, or and off. In the three years of being in his class, my writing voice has strengthened. And from being in this class, it has made it much clearer to me that I want to stick with writing for the rest of my life and want to become a teacher. Thank you. I definitely owe Dalal and Kim a thank you because if I needed more opinions on one of my pieces or if I was too afraid to ask Barry something, they were always there for me even though I wasn't one of their students. And last but not least, I'd like to thank my mom and dad and Pedal for all your encouragement and support and congratulate all the grads. Thank you. Every year for the past 29 years, an award for academic excellence has gone out in my mother's name, Janine Yordiwiostu Bova. This award is presented to the student who achieves the highest average over 90% in, in a subject area. This year, it is my honor to present the award on behalf of my family to Ridge Cross McCumber for his efforts in Ganyet Geha. Rich? As you know, this award is, was first uh, given out 21 years ago. I think it's the 21st that we're doing, the 21st recipient. And it's based solely on uh, achievement. When we first introduced it 21 years ago, it was almost like a joke. like. Who wants to be a nerd? Um, you're no fun, you're not athletic, you just study, you're in the books all the time, but that's not true. And uh, we tried to create um, a different image of a person who can succeed in school and still be athletic, a lot of fun, party, have a good time, good personality, and this is exactly who the recipient is this year, that's for sure. And um, so we added all the three marks, we took the average, and the winner this year, Avril will tell you. Just to let you know, a few other pointers. The difference between three students was 0 0.03. So this came very, very, very close. And we were biting our fingernails. And the winner of this year, the recipient is Emily Stacy. I 
just want to say a couple of words uh, to the students who are leaving us today and going out into the world, either into further their education or take on a trade or uh, continue to learn Kanyongeha for sure, and also about our own culture and who we are. It's a never ending process for all of us. And those who are continuing their education, I would advise them to learn all you can from these outside educational institutions. But bring back here to our community only those things that are appropriate to our culture and who we are. So again, I want to express my congratulations to all of the graduates here today. They're fabulously handsome and pretty, all of you. And uh, I hope that you're all successful in whatever endeavors you attempt in the future. Everybody at that time thought it, was not, it wasn't possible that we could take over our own education. That a native community could control their own education. They said it's not possible. They're going to fail. Well, they did the impossible. And everyone is surely forgot to mention. There's a lot of people that I'm sorry if I didn't mention your names, but Shirley Scott, different people. They said it wasn't possible that this thing would come and that it would fail. Every day that you woke up and got on the bus and came to school, you did the impossible. By standing here today and accepting a diploma, you did the impossible. Don't let anybody tell you that something is impossible because you stand here today doing the impossible. I'd like to give acknowledgement again to the parents for choosing uh, survival set to send their children to survival school, for the students for choosing the survival school. For the people, school committees, they took time out, they volunteered. I said, this is my acknowledgement to use. I thank you all. To the graduating class of 2011, you're leaving our home here at KSS and starting on a new chapter of your life. In your short lives, you have reached many milestones. Your first words, your first tooth, your first steps, all the while your parents pushing you along to the next level. This is yet another milestone in your achievements. Entering the Nawaga Survival School as bright, bright eyed young children and leaving as mature members of the graduating class of 2011. The teachers at KSS just not, did not just read out of a textbook. Randy taught out of, out of life and traditional experience and from their hearts. As you continue your path to college or art adventures, I hope that you will look for answers beyond that what is written in the textbook. Ask questions, feed your curiosity, experience life. Don't be afraid when you hit a bump in the road. Move on, continue creating more uh, milestones. We as teachers cannot take all the credit for this, your learning environment. It also stems from the love and support of your parents. It's important to not only dream big, Plan your goals and follow through. The greatest joy happens when you reach your goals through hard work in any field that you choose. I hope your dreams take you to many corners of the world, to the highest level of your hopes, open new doors of opportunities, and guide you to the most special place your heart has ever known. Congratulations, class of 2011.
Oh.